Good evening guys, I'm hanging out with my friend Quinlan today Hi. and we're in downtown Morioka and I thought I would take you guys out for a night on the town with me, especially because I showed you the Odori, the downtown area in the daytime and it's no fun in the daytime. So I wanted to show you guys what it's like at nighttime. So yeah, we're gonna go out for dinner, we're gonna go out for drinks and then uh, I'll show you a bit of the downtown area. It'll be fun. So where are we going first? First we're going to this tiny little place called Asanuma Shoten yeah. and it's um, I mainly discovered it because an Australian friend of mine showed it to me because oh. it's got the greatest entrance of any shop in Morioka that okay. I've seen. I'm, and in fact, I'm take intrigued. a look. I'm yes. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell how tidy this door is. Maybe I should go stand by it. So, oh yeah, yeah. Give us some. <laughs> That is so cute. How did that come about? Do you know why? Well, I don't know about this particular one, but you know the story always goes with um, a lot of the places in Tokyo and Edo area yeah. that um, they would have the small doors so that samurai wielding swords could not um, rush in attacking. But oh my go god! Down to Seiza and go that's in really and cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what good to know. All right, let's go inside. Yes. I will have a umeshi no doku. So yeah, this place has a system where if you get a 200 yen drink, which there are a few, it's um, a white straw. If you get a 300 yen drink, which is, includes a tap beer or something like that, it's 300 yen. Red straw, I believe you're getting a high-end umeshu, that is 400 yen. And for some things apparently, it has green straws, which are 500 yen. We'll, okay. we'll see, they'll be right in there. So they'll collect them in your jar, each customer gets a little jar, and then at the end of the night, that's how you can tell how much your bill would be. That's really cool. It's a cute little system. Tax included, it's very simple. Ooh, cheers. I'm cheers. Yeah. I said it's a cho. Not none of it. Cho. Cho yatsu. Cho yatsu. Cho yatsu. Oishi. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. After we finish our drinks here, we're going to head out for Italian food, actually. And Japan is really good at doing Italian food. And another bonus is that they have lots of vegetarian and vegan stuff. So if you're having trouble finding anything that fits your diet in Japan, if you're vegetarian or vegan, look for an Italian restaurant because I always find at least one pasta choice there that I can eat. But we're going to a fancy place and it's like a course meal, right? Yeah, we are straight up getting courses. And, um, <laughs> It's all locally sourced. Oh, cool. Every single ingredient is um, from Iwate. Oh, that's great. Yeah. All right, time to pay our bill. We got two red straws, so that is 800 yen. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. What a cool little place. It's pretty quiet down here. The crowds are all down on Odori, I guess. That's cute. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, it closed and then opened again. Or no, it's a different shop. It's an Indian restaurant now. Oh, is it? Yeah. <gasps> I love this Indian food. This a little bar that I liked. Oh, was it? Oh, it's oh, too bad. bad. This is such a pretty little river park area. I'm gonna show it to you guys one day uh, when the weather warms up. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's such a nice place to walk. Oh, wow, check out the Christmas lights. Morioka's stepping up their game. They heard me whining. <laughs> I was just hoping that they would start uh, putting up some lights throughout December. And they have, they haven't let me down. Is that tower always lit up or is that a Christmas thing? It's been like that for at least a couple months now. Has it? Oh, cool. Maybe they changed the color to green for Christmas. <laughs> nice. That's cool. I love walking along this river. I often go for walks along here. It's got a really nice walkway. Have you been to that cafe? I, I haven't! I always pass it and really think that nice. it looks really nice. Yeah. Oh. Fukakusa, it's called. Fukakusa. Is it just a coffee shop? Yes, but you can drink beer there at night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they've also decorated the lampposts along the street. That's really nice. This is a nice cobblestone road. I don't think I've ever been down here. And here we are. This is the Italian restaurant. What's it called? Philo. Philo. Oh, there it is. Philo. I am so stoked. Cannot wait. Yay, more Christmas stuff. Our seats upstairs. This is such a cool old building. Love it. Oh, it's so nice. This 
place is so cool. It's so cozy. I love it. It's not that large. One, two, three, four tables here, and then there was a bar counter downstairs. We have the whole place to ourselves at the moment. That'll probably change. Cheers. Cheers. It's super tasty. It tastes like a smoothie, actually. It's really thick and creamy. Look at this tasty little appetizer. Apparently this is an Italian style kind of okonomiyaki dish, so a savory pancake. And he said all the dishes they use at this restaurant are local to Iwate Prefecture as well. Look at this gorgeous dish. I wish I knew where to purchase them. I would definitely get some for my house. I love it so much. Mmm, mm, that's tasty. Do you make okonomiyaki at home? I do, yeah. Wow. Mm, I love the green onions on top. So here we have a beet salad, beet and carrot salad. And this is a radish dish that's flavored with African spices. It's very fragrant. It smells like cumin, coriander, um, typical like curry spices actually. Whoa. <laughs> Daikon just disappears in your mouth when you bite into it. It must be stewed. I expect it to be a lot tougher. It's really hard to explain. It's kind of got the texture of a really soft marshmallow. And beets, it's so exciting to see beets in Japan. They're one of my favorite vegetables and uh, they're not included in Japanese cuisine. So I never see them, unless I go to a foreign restaurant like this. So uh, Quinlan has run into a little dilemma. I've run here. into a snag. <laughs> What's happened? Well, um, <laughs> it's a course menu, so we don't decide anything. All mm -hmm. I knew is I'm getting this the uh, nice course, but yeah. what you can, See, but maybe not recognize on here. Do you? So look at this. You see that? Uh huh. Guess, guess what this is. <laughs> guess what this is. Now this is a family-friendly channel, so I'll try and say this in the most delicate way that I can. <laughs> but this is basically um, salmon. Um, it's it's what the salmon uses to fertilize the eggs. So yeah, they eat it in Japan. It's called shirako. And you're not a fan. And I had it once before, and the only reason I had it before is because I was told, how can you say you don't like it if you've never tried it? Right. And I thought, yes, you're right, and it was worse than I imagined. Oh However, no. I love this restaurant, and this chef is amazing, so if anyone can make me I like actually, it. I actually, I have faith that you will like it because I've had shirako before and I actually liked the flavor, but I didn't like that I liked the flavor, but. <laughs> 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 All right. I don't want to get too much in my first bite. Oh, but I have to take it all. I have to take it all. Stop it! Stop <laughs> sorry, it! Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're making it worse for yourself. Yes, yes. <laughs> Good? Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's well mixed in. It's, it's not just that, you know, it's right. mixed in in this um, whole sauce thing, but. It's got this fishiness that pervades it that I'm not a big fan of, but but yeah, all the other flavors are so delicate, nuanced, and complex, and there's this vegetable base. I'm shocked. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind it. It's, it's good, it's good. In replacement of the normal anchovy sauce that they would use, they flavored it with koji, the sake koji that you guys saw in my camping video if you watched it, so that's really neat. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I can't believe there's no cheese in this. It kind of tastes like it has a Parmesan it does. flavor to it, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. They just brought out a tray of knives and uh, we can choose our own steak knife. <clears throat> All right, my steak has arrived. It's a radish and cauliflower steak replacement. It smells so good. I can't wait to dig into this. And look at this cool dish. I'm really enjoying seeing all the plates and uh, accessories that they're using to serve the food. It's so nice. Oh, yum. Mm. <laughs> so good. The spices are so nice. Kind of tastes like fried chicken. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say about it tastes cauliflower. Like fried chicken. Yeah, it really does. It's funny. Mm. I will definitely be coming back to this restaurant. I was so impressed with this meal. Every single dish was super tasty. And it was really cool how he could make it vegan. I'm pretty sure he would take any requests you have. So if you have certain allergies or dietary restrictions, feel free to contact them beforehand and ask for any changes you need. But certainly recommend this place if you find yourself in the Morioka area. This is such a nice little street. I need to come down here more often. This is really pretty. 
All right, you guys ready to go downtown? We're Can going finally downtown. Show you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this was the location of one of my first jobs ever in Japan. I was there for a couple years. Straight talk. Straight talk, English school. Looks like they've shut for the night, unfortunately. I was gonna come say hi to my boss if he was in. Next time, look at this cute little collection of shops. Morioka is so nice at nighttime. It's so quiet. To be fair, we're not in the main part of downtown yet, but I love all these little side streets with bars and pubs and restaurants. All right, so this is Odori at nighttime. This is what it looks like. Tuesday is one of the quieter nights. We have a Daiso here. Not as cool as the ones in Tokyo, but uh, it does the job. So you'll find tons of coffee shops, restaurants. That's a, a lamb barbecue, I guess. It says Genghis Khan. Here we have a gyudon place, beef bowl, typical late night fast food joint. Some more izakaya over there. And we have a really good selection of karaoke shops, which is cool. Quinlan and I often come to this uh, restaurant here specializing in Kyushu food. It's really tasty. I'm so pleased by the amount of Christmas decorations that have popped up in the last week. Yay, Morioka! Got a Mr. Donut, which may or may not have the Pokemon donuts. Oh, I can see it. I can see it on the shelf in there. Can you guys see the yellow one? That's a Pikachu butt. So this is my favorite pub in Morioka so far. It's called Sundance. It's actually the place where all the foreigners used to hang out, but if you go there nowadays, it's mostly just Japanese people and me, probably. But um, it's kind of like uh, a British style pub. They have all the foreign beers. They've got like fish and chips and all the typical dishes you would see in a British pub. It's really nice. It's got a really nice cozy atmosphere. I love it. So there's actually an area of town that I've been meaning to check out, but I haven't made it there yet. So we're gonna stop by there now. I uh, they made a video about it. There's um, a new like row of shops along the river. There's a couple of bars. There's a cafe, a gelato shop, oh, an Italian really? restaurant. Is a oh, kaya. it's quite a selection. The of whole area stuff. is called Kipushi, mm -hmm. and um, if you cool. want to see my little introduction to one of them, it's on yeah. my craft beer guide to Morioka video. It features I'll, that I'll link it down beginning. below in the description box. So Thank check you. it out. Yeah, I'm really excited that they're using that area. It's a really beautiful area of Morioka, and it always kind of felt like a waste because people would just pass it coming to downtown from the station and never really hang out there. So this bridge we're standing on right here is Kayun Bashi. It's a really famous area of Morioka because you probably have the best view ever of Mount Iwate, right there. If you search Morioka on Google, you will get this, this image right here, and there'll be a pretty Mount Iwate in the background, which you can't see today because it's really cloudy. But um, this is the area we're talking about with the little shops. Looks like some of the shops might be closed already, unfortunately, which makes sense because I suppose it's not really the area you would want to hang out in the cold at nighttime. It's a little chilly in the winter here. It's about three degrees at the moment. Three degrees Celsius. I know you're not a beer person, but there's a craft beer place that it's, it's open. I can see. This one looks beer. open, yeah. This is in the Italian place. Tragium. Oh, cool. It looks pretty nice. And the beer place is... Oh, right there. Yes, right one. there. And is it open? I can't tell. Yeah, there's people in it. Yeah, yeah. it looks open then. Nice. Oh, cool. I see they got rid of all the outdoor seating. Yeah, makes sense. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little evening walk of my town here in Morioka. Please do go check out Quinlan's channel if you'd like to see more of Morioka. He also lives here please, and he please. makes lots of outdoor adventure type videos, hikes, and really cool spots to see here in Iwate Prefecture. I will link them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Bye guys. See you.